Welcome to Electron Online. Now that we know what the lowest common denominator is, now we're ready to add and subtract fractions. But the first examples we're going to use, we don't even need to find the lowest common denominator because as you notice, all the denominators are the same. Well, I shouldn't say all the denominators of all the fractions, but within need, need each exercise, notice that here the denominators are the same, here they are the same, here they are the same, and here they are the same. When the denominators are the same, all you need to do is either add or subtract the numerators. In other words, 2 sevenths plus 3 sevenths is the same as saying 2 plus 3 over a common denominator of 7. If the denominators are the same, the common denominator is the same, 7. And 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. This becomes 5 divided by 7. Same over there. Notice that 4 ninths plus 2 ninths, they both have the same denominators. This then becomes 4 plus 2 over a common denominator of 9, which is equal to 6 divided by 9. And now notice that they can both be divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 is, is oop, not 3, but 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and this becomes 2 thirds. Now let's subtract some fractions. Again, if the denominators are the same, this can simply be written as 7 minus 2 divided by the common denominator of 13. 7 minus 2 is 5, and the common denominator is 13. The answer is 5 thirteenths. Here as well, if the denominators are the same, this can be written as 7 minus 2 over 25. In this case, that's equal to 5 over 25. And again, both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by the same number 5 in this case. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 25 divided by 5 is 5, this can be written as 1 fifth. You can see that if the denominators are the same, these are relatively easy exercises. But what do we do when the denominators are not the same? Well, we have some more videos for you to show you how to handle those kinds of additions and subtractions of fractions. That's how it's done.